Plus, a mystery looms around a local two-year-old's death after he dies from a gunshot wound. Why who owns the gun may be a key factor in this case. Thanks for joining us, everyone, on Action News Jax at Noon. I'm Phil Amato. And I'm Dawn Lopez. The toddler's grieving mother tells Action News Jax her son, Jayton Piedra, got his hands on a gun and accidentally shot himself at a friend's apartment. We first showed you the scene Saturday at the Morningside Apartments on the west side. As Action News Jax Christy Turner shows us, JSO is investigating who that gun belongs to. Police are also working to figure out how the child got his hands on a gun inside one of the units here at Morningside Apartments. The sheriff's office has not announced any arrest or charges, but that could all change depending on how the investigation unfolds. This is a photo of two-year-old Jaden Piedra. He died in what his mother is calling an accidental shooting. She tells Action News Jax it happened while they were visiting a friend at the Morningside Apartments Saturday. Right now, Action News Jax is working to figure out the identity of the man who lives here and if he owned the gun. JSO says the investigation is active and ongoing, and they are not looking for any suspects. The child's mother says she feels like she's living a nightmare. Go on my days without him. It just don't feel real. I just feel like I'm still asleep, like I need to wake up. I reached out to DCF to find out if the agency removed the seven-year-old son from the home and if they have any prior investigations involving the family. Action News Jax will continue pressing police for updates on the investigation and we'll be sure to have more information for you all new tonight at 5. Reporting on the West Side, Christy Turner, CBS 47 Action News Jax.